Yeah, so yeah. Thursday I'm gonna get the code. Yeah. So then Yeah. Hopefully we can get all of them done. I think we can. Yeah. And then train MMA Muay Thai boxing. A towel to scrub, or if you have a scrubbing tool, so you get a lot of the toxins and dead skin off as much as you can. Um, I already did my breathing drills and yoga this morning, so I'll probably end up doing stretching right now in the sauna. Definitely some stretching and some nostril breathing drills to activate some nitric oxide, open those vasodilators, dilators, and then we'll finish with a cold shower for about two minutes with some box breathing. Call it a night course. Yeah, we are in Coronavirus Central in Montreal. We're actually the top city that has the most amount of patients um, for COVID positive individuals. Now, we're still training. We're still trying to continue this career. So now we got some MMA boxing work or more Muay Thai kickboxing work. And I usually drill some uh, MMA drills like shadow boxing and I drill them by myself. Daniel's joining instead of running. Oi. You good? Survived ankle mobility. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of um, driving because it's a really nice day, we're finally having a nice sunny day, we decided to walk to my house. A uh, little pre warm up before we start training. And uh, yeah. Look, right now, this whole foot's on the ground, this heel is elevated. That's it, that's what I'm saying. Now this foot alternate, yeah, yeah. But I keep that motion, always. I'm using the, the gravitational like counter movement, absorb, explode. I have, that. I have that spring. I'm using the natural spring that you have in your foot that you're designed for to utilize it. Yeah. So I'm here, and I'm moving, and I feel good. And, ha! Maybe I don't move on this one. Ha! Watch. You feel this? Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay? If I want to jab, I just drive a little more forward. That's what I find. I ask people, I'm like, do you eat in the morning? And they're like, no, I don't feel good. And like, I usually wake up, have my coffee, I go train. I'm like, okay, but have you ever like woken up, spend time like on your cell? Like, let's say you're working out at 7.30 in the morning, right? People wake up at 6.45. Like no shit you can't eat and then go do a workout because you're going to have like 20 to 30 minutes to digest your food. Like that's not enough, right? If you're going to fast, then like you're better off having some essential amino acids in the morning, right? Because you don't want, you've just been fasting for about 8 to 10 hours and like no matter what... Uh, people say on YouTube honestly like the science does show that if your primary goal is to maintain muscle mass or even gain muscle mass then having replenished your amino acids from like prolonged meal timing is what you want so if you sleep roughly eight hours a day and you stop eating roughly what like I usually fast for 14 hours a day right at that point like the time frame, right? Because protein works on like you use you your body uses the protein because it has nitrogen. Like nitrogen is what is what binds the amino acids to make a protein. Right. So your body utilizes nitrogen, and that's why there's a ratio in the body called like the nitrogen balance. You want to make sure that at the end of the day, you have a positive nitrogen balance or a net positive, so that you elicit raw materials for your body to use so that you can build muscle and yada 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 right just like blood glucose right you eat something it spikes up it goes back down it levels out it goes back up right, right. every time you eat protein is the same thing but they notice that like nitrogen balance tends to start going negative once you surpass like that's really bright once you surpass i think it was like four to five hours then you start going in like at a negative and your body has to start pulling amino acids from like other areas I try to have in roughly 
1.5 times my weight. Okay. So I'm 95 kilos. Let's say if I was 100, I try to get in roughly 150 to 160 grams of protein a day. Right. That's like now because that's like my goal, especially with coronavirus going on. I'm, I'm trying to build as much muscle as I can at home and trying to stimulate myself and try to make sure that when fight season comes back or life fucking comes, comes back, back, I'm like I'm good to go and I put on, I put on enough strength power explosiveness at home because just because we're home doesn't mean you can't stop right so when i come back to the, my point of breakfast i've personally found especially now at the time where we find ourselves sitting down so much right Famous. people like to do stuff a lot in the morning like people that's, tend to do that's stuff. when you have the most energy you exactly wake up, hopefully you, you, you have morning sleep. you have like afternoon and then come like four o'clock yeah everything kind of just starts to drop yeah. i rather shove most of my calories for breakfast because i know that i'm going to be very productive in the morning so let's say if i'm like yo i really want to cheat like i'm like fuck i want like i want a donut i want something yeah which i lately i haven't like for the past couple of too. months i haven't been wanting any of that i have it in the morning I'd rather just save it for breakfast because then i hope the whole day to burn it fair enough <sighs> Another day of quarantine, stuck the house alone. Pretty much have like all my paperwork and bag stuff here. Laptop, I was watching a movie because I was eating, I'm about to study. And we have all these books, more books, more paperwork. A whole bunch of gear really to provide as much like information as possible online as well. Even if this is the journey to pro, I also have a school degree and I'm gonna become an athletic therapist, but now with the coronavirus going on, they canceled our exam, they're supposed to refund us money. They haven't refunded our money yet, even though they said they would do so last week. I still need to end up reading a thousand pages. So every day I try to do a couple of pages and then I try to write as much info down to provide like information out there for whether it be training, medical physiology, exercise physiology, mobility, rehab, stuff like that, just so that you guys have stuff to do at home besides just sitting on your butts doing nothing. Didn't sleep so well, the air was really dry. When I don't sleep so well, it's mostly because of the air. When I breathe through my mouth, I wake up with dry mouth, cotton mouth, and it's really unpleasant. Still have stuff to do today, so we get a whole bunch of work done. I think today, we're going to switch it up and I'm going to do a HIIT workout that I made. We still have the plan, you know, doing strength training and hypertrophy training four to five days a week, putting in at least one session of HIIT. There's no tournaments that are going to be scheduled. There's nothing that's coming up. We have one HIIT session a week, which is mostly a, like high intensity interval training. Uh, there's power in there involved with like snatches, um, dumbbell cleans. Uh, once a week in that like one session. The HIIT training does have plyo, so I'd say plyo about two times a week. But right now, because there's, there, there's, there's nothing going on, <laughs> the training still has to happen, but because I don't have the ability to do it with someone, I have to specifically plan for specific workouts to revolve around a certain thing. So like today, I'm making the end of the hit workout sprawling based like when you try to defend the double leg It still has a purpose for me because that helps me in wrestling when I need to explode and get back up and explode and get back up And then I have other days in the morning now instead of just going for a walk. I like to do a lot of um, Technical stuff so I like I'll shadow box or I'll shadow wrestle where I'm just going through movements of like defenses Just playing out the patterns. I'm getting my whole body involved. I'm moving my whole body So it's a great way to like utilize mobility and stretching and cardio at a like lower to moderate intensity depending on how high you take it. I'm home alone, the girlfriend's at work and I'm here for the next eight hours. So I'm gonna put as much time and work in as I can. Tomorrow, we're gonna do some kicking Muay Thai pad work with my dad. Uh, I'll probably just drill out some double legs with my dad as well, single leg work, more on person to person. And then we got a resistance training workout, uh, full body tomorrow morning before I leave the house. So the basis of this workout is to mix a little bit of some aerobic work or anaerobic work and then tie in some resistance training work just to get a type of circuit training so we can switch things up.
jab up. We jab down, we lift that elbow up a little higher because we're closer. So now this, this whole round, the three minutes. Okay, I only want straight punches. Step in to your midline. Right now I have the guy I'm fighting and my left foot is in line with maybe his, his nose. Look, even if I switch southpaw, doing the same thing here, making a big explosive step. I'm trying to produce as much as I can for you guys to give you guys some ideas and switch things up a bit. I have a lot of videos coming up. It's just taking me a little bit of time to edit them because the computer that I'm using isn't that great right now. It's lagging a bit. But I'm gonna make sure that I get a lot out there for you guys. Also, there's a whole bunch of mobility and specific exercise that I made to show you guys how to use in the house. So that will be coming out soon. So like I said, don't forget, please subscribe with the notification bell so you guys do know when these videos come up. If you did stay all the way to the end, click that like button so that you can see more of these and more people get a chance to see it. Share with a friend, do anything. Keep moving guys, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's your boy, that's exact punch, headbutt, elbow. Knee. <sighs>